I have here on the desk a few examples of thermistors. A thermistor is a thermal resistor. So it's a device that changes resistance based on temperature. There are two main types that we would find on a vehicle, a negative temperature coefficient, an NTC thermistor, and a positive temperature coefficient, a PTC thermistor. Most of the components that you'll probably encounter are going to be NTC thermistors, like this one right here. If you have a multimeter, you may have got a thermistor with your multimeter that you can measure temperature with. This is also a negative temperature coefficient. All of the most common thermistors are going to have two inputs. Positive temperature coefficient thermistors, they're not necessarily as common. It's a lot less expensive to manufacture negative temperature coefficient thermistors, but they do exist. Anytime that I'm trying to protect a circuit against an overcurrent situation or overheating, that's almost always a positive temperature coefficient thermistor. A negative temperature coefficient thermistor, its resistance will go up as the temperature goes down and vice versa. If the temperature goes up, the resistance goes down. So we can measure that pretty easy. I'm just going to take our multimeter and we're going to measure the resistance. The side that you measure isn't super critical. Thermistors have a specific rating on them. This happens to be a 10k ohm resistor. So right now it's colder than expected. That's why we see a colder than the nominal value. That's why we see this 12.27 kilo ohms. If I put my finger on the thermistor, the metal part of the thermistor, my body heat should be heating up the metal and that is then making the resistance go down. So we can see our resistance is beginning to decrease. As we continue to watch that decrease, common NTC thermistors in the engine compartment are things like the coolant temperature sensor, the intake air temperature sensor is often a thermistor. Inside the cabin, we might monitor the cabin temperature using an NTC thermistor. We can see that this value goes down. In a future video, we'll look at this number, this value, and see how the computer interprets or compares this value and figures out what the temperature is.